For most of the elements of organic chemistry, a single isotope dominates. This means that we don't have to worry about different isotopes showing up in different molecules and translating an effect to a mass spectrum where, for example, we get multiple molecular ion peaks. There are two important exceptions to this rule, chlorine and bromine, both of which have multiple important isotopes in significant abundance naturally. Chlorine has chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 in a ratio of approximately 3 to 1, while bromine has bromine 79 and bromine 81 in a ratio of approximately 1 to 1. Because these isotopes have different masses, they give different peaks on a mass spectrum. The advantage of this is that we can use peak patterns near the molecular ion to give us insight into the number of chlorine or bromine atoms within a molecule of the sample. If we look, for example, at a mass spectrum for the compound bromobenzene, we notice something interesting going on near the molecular ion peak. In fact, there appear to be two molecular ion peaks, one at m over z equal to 156 and one at m over z equal to 158. Either the true molecular mass of the sample is 158, and this 156 peak corresponds to a fragment involving the loss of two mass units, which doesn't make much sense, or there's an isotopic abundance effect going on. And as you've probably guessed by now, this is due to isotopic abundance effects. Bromine 79 and bromine 81 are nearly equally abundant. So because the sample contains on the order of a mole molecules of bromobenzene, the mass spectrum we get reflects a 50-50 ratio of these two isotopes in the sample. With the peak of lower mass corresponding to molecules containing bromine 79, and the peak of higher mass corresponding to molecules containing the bromine 81 isotope. Interestingly, although I won't show it here, statistical effects come in for molecules containing multiple bromines, but the peak pattern that we see near the molecular ion still reflects the idea that there's a 50% probability of seeing bromine 79 for each bromine and a 50% probability of seeing bromine 81 at each bromine. This is actually reminiscent of the coupling statistics that we looked at in an NMR context, although they're not really related at all theoretically. The spectrum of chlorobenzene shown here displays a similar effect with two apparent molecular ion peaks, one here at 112 and one here at two mass units higher, 114. This pattern comes from the fact that chlorine 35 is about three times as abundant as chlorine 37. That's why the height of the peak at lower mass, which is due to molecules containing the chlorine 35 isotope, is about three times as high as the peak at higher mass, which is due to molecules containing the chlorine 37 isotope. For molecules containing multiple chlorines, we once again see a statistical pattern in the observed masses near the molecular ion. But because the probability of observing chlorine 35 is 75% and the probability of observing chlorine 37 is only 25%, the statistics here are somewhat more complicated. 